Ooh. There's the attitude, this style of kids. Let's give it love. New generation. One, two, three, go! Yeah! One, two, three, go! Yeah! Okay, one, two, three, go! Yeah! The things off the top of my head that I kind of would love to do in the next 10 years is, um, you know, continue growing 15, uh, which works um, and uh, has only done great things for the kids and the local community. Um, the, obviously, the kitchen garden project is, is kind of, in, in primary schools, is one of the big things that we want to work on in lots of different ways, uh, but basically getting kids to understand food, where it comes from and how it affects their body from primary school. Getting them while they're young um, is really important to me. I'm working on a big uh, sort of food emporium, museum sort of experience, big British food experience, hopefully uh, in the um, uh, legacy of the Olympics, um, which we don't really have um, a food museum. Uh, and it would be mobbed and people would love it, but a, a real incredible expression of you know smells the senses walking through getting pushed through groups single markets restaurants you know an academy learning you know using all the areas of the olympic park you know to do stuff all the wonderful people in britain that are artisans they're they're running businesses but they're all emotionally driven you know they would all get involved um, so i'm working on that at the moment i just have the uh, small challenge of having to raise 60 million quid to do it in the next year, um, fingers crossed. Um, and then, of, of course, what you know, I'm fiddling with at the moment is trying to come up with some proved concepts of, of fulfilling brilliant food that is profitable to the school, um, in schools, primary or secondary, um, and rolling that out, coming up with a format to roll it out. Because in the old days, the government used to run the service. So there was kind of quite a good, thorough, honest heart to it. Um, obviously, the private company's doing it. They've got to make a margin on even more sort of squashed numbers. Um, and of course, the Holy Grail is like a small independent girl running a small independent school and, and doing a great job. So whether it's the independent model or the kind of coming up with a model that's a lot bigger, I'm trying to work out really how you can roll that out in a big way. Um, 15 has achieved dramatic change for a large proportion, if not most of them or all of them, of the students that have been through, you know, whether it's Amsterdam, Cornwall or here in London. Ten years in, those initial graduates are now, you know, fairly senior in an incredible restaurants. And their role in the kind of circle of 15 and new students, so they're starting to take on new students for work experience and mentoring as well. So that's brilliant. I mean, I guess what it's failed to do is... Um, you know, um, work within, you know, government or any other sort of areas to sort of, as a device to get more people, even more towns and more areas sort of doing it. And I have to raise, you know, 20 times 30, 30 to 25 grand a year to pay for my students. And, and most of our students do come from the parole service or, you know, uh, from prison often. Um, but the cost to a child in jail is phenomenal. It's like, you know, 80 to 100 grand plus you know, another 20, 30 grand of, sort of other costs. And you know, as far as sort of like 25 and under, you know, they're sort of reoffending often you know, um, within the first couple of years. So I think what we do is very particular. And it's, about, it's, it's definitely about empowering people, giving them options. But also it's more than that. It's sort of, it is love and passion. And I know it sort of sounds a little bit sort of uh, romantic, but I think, you know, that, trying to get people to see why you love something. Why would you want to get up on this cold morning and do a 14-hour shift, you know? I, I get the big society thing. Um, I think even the Conservatives are kind of wishing they'd never said it now, quite like that. Um, but for me, if you're, if you're looking about people pulling their own finger out, and kind of like getting amongst it and kind of being entrepreneurial and ethical and social and kind of just over delivering on what one could ever dream of, you know. Um, well, 
guess what, Sherlock? You know, it, it kind of you need again. You know, you need that structure of, well, you know, here's some things you could do if you over deliver on these areas. We'll make this as a business easier for you and help you with some of these bits. So I mean, I, I'm I'm much more about sort of facilitated activism and facilitated sort of big society. I don't really, you know, the government will always come back and say, well, we do this and we do that and we do that. But there's something quite intimate about trying to get um, a boss, you know, of a company to do even more than they're already doing and, 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 and take on even more than they're already worrying about. You must feel that sometimes it would be good just to get back on your scooter and, and fix up a bowl of pasta, but that's presumably no longer. Yeah, and certainly easier would be easy, wouldn't it? But I kind of think that's not really what we've grown into. Um, I think we have a sort of comfort level with um, being creative and work and having fun, but also stirring the pot and mixing it up a bit. And, you know, certainly the last three or four years, you know, we are a team now. Um, and hopefully as things continue and if we get out of this ruddy recession, um, you know, that confidence, you know, in the high street and, and work and the restaurants will definitely come through in all of the other stuff that we're doing, um, more and more so. But you know, I, the truth is, I think we sort of enjoy it. I think, you know, and also the people that I work with kind of enjoy it. We sort of hate it, but love it. You know, it's a little bit of a strange one. But yeah, I've still got the scooter. It comes out every now and again. <laughs>